there is a mission and a point to the deliverance, which was to show you how you can create and play without all the other stuff that you want to throw into the stew that becomes supposedly the excuse why it sounds better or why you can now play it. You should be able to interact with it without any of the bells and whistles, without any effects, without anything. You ought to be able to just get a, some interaction and feedback with the amplifier and play it and go, oh, this is working with me. I'm getting an interaction. There's a symbiosis here that I don't get with other amplifiers, especially other Fryad amplifiers, which I find more difficult to navigate. It has a little bit more of a raw sort of old school sound and quality to it than the multi-feature multi-function amps, which uh, a lot of people found appealing. And so it gained its own following, its, its own sort of core group of people that just were like, well, this is the best thing that you've ever made. And that core following exists to this day. There's a hardcore deliverance crew out there that that nothing else that we do is of any interest to them, but the but the deliverance is the crowning achievement of our of our output, and uh, we're focusing on the playing experience first and trying to stay with that as long as possible, which we did, and uh, then we started thinking about uh, at what point might we acquiesce and put a loop in it, and we decided that that we don't know when that point would come. We don't know when it's going to be, but when it comes, we'll know it because we've sort of made our point and we've established the presence of the, of the Deliberate Series amps, the behavior, the sound, the footprint that they're famous for, that big gargantuan, tough bottom end that's tight and musical. All those things are part of what people think of when they think of the Deliverance now. So that's established. Once that's established, then we can go back and put in a loop and avoid any pushback. It changed the sound. It did something to the amp that I didn't like. Um, and we felt confident that that wasn't going to be an issue because we've been doing effects loops, really good effects loops on our amps from the very beginning of the company. So that wasn't going to be a challenge. The challenge was going to be making sure that people really had it in their heads what this amp is first. So that the next evolution of it that comes out that maybe has these feature refinements are not going to be shocked to find that it's a completely different animal. They're going to go, oh yeah, it's the same thing, only refined, improved, which a company would naturally do with a product and incorporate some of the feedback we get from players about they'd maybe like a little bit more sustain or a little bit more natural give or things like that. Those are little subtle things. They make a big impact on a player, but as far as the design, they don't impact the design to the point where it goes off the rails and becomes something else other than what it was intended to be originally. Answering the question how the outside world characterizes what the deliverance is is difficult because there's so many different kinds of players that goes back to how versatile it is a lot of different kind of players use this amp for a lot of different kind of things clean crunch uh, edge of breakup totally shred stomp you know overdriven gain drop d tuning uh we got bass players that use it um it's not a, it, it's not a really specifically defined and pigeonholed amp design. I think the, I think the hardcore people that are just they're del they consider themselves the Deliverance core. There are a lot of different kinds of players, and they, I think, some of them have other of our models, like a Sig X, for example, maybe or an Ultra Lead. Uh, but they understand the deliverance to be something of its own apart from those other things. And that, I think that goes back to the old school sort of rawness of it. And the nice thing about that is, is that's uh, applicable to every kind of style. That's a, an old school quality that the deliverance is capable of producing. And then there's, um, you know, really hardcore music that at its root incorporates some of that old school sort of feel. If you make an amp that's too modern sounding, and take away all that, the, the sort of grunt and weirdness that happens in power supplies and all that, you end up with sort of a sterile amplifier. But there's somebody that's going to be able to make use of that. Say, 
uh, like Don Magdal, for example, he just eschews all that old school stuff and it says, I'm going to do a sound this way with completely unconventional gear. There's those guys. But um, I think a lot of players that have experimented with a lot of gear have encountered little bits of the stew, little spices along the way, a certain kind of pepper here, a certain kind of salt there, uh, you know, an exotic spice here and there. They sort of, these things go in their back of their mind in their recipe book. And then when an amplifier can do a number of those things on tap, then they can feel that they're sort of putting together these influences and these inspirations from the past into an amp and create a modern sound that incorporates the stuff that came before. So uh, I think that I think the deliverance player is less focused on the things that the amp does and more focused on what they can, uh, how they can um, sort of refine or grow their playing experience or their playing style uh, as a result of using it. They can rediscover it over and over again. Oh, it can do this. It never occurred to me to turn the gain down and try this. And um, uh, we get a lot of that. We get people that I plugged a Strat into this thing and I was blown away. I never would have expected that be, to be the kind of amp that you would plug a stock Strat with medium low gain pickups and get this big wide palette of sounds. Uh, that's part of the mission of the deliverance is to break stereotypes and break the uh, break the mold of what people think we are and what they see as how our amplifiers perform. <laughs>